Best case scenario would be fighting them in the hills. I'd only get a minus one to my rolls and they would not get their uh, horde bonus. That would be lovely. Jake, any province you think you could take and release as a new vassal in the region? Mm, Iraq is generally the go-to vassal for this area. And if I'm not mistaken, Iraq take religious ideas. Which means they would convert this horrible Sunni la uh, Shiite land. But if only uh, only if I released them as a uh, as a Sunni. So I'd have to take one province and change its religion. This one would probably be quite good since it's only one base tax. I could do that and release Iraq. Right, there you are, hiding in the mountains. With a four shock general. Honestly, those numbers don't look very good for me, so what I'm going to do is keep you pinned there in the corner. You might escape around Shiravan, but at least then it'll just be hills for me. Meanwhile, there's no uh, no real bad side for me just camping out. Jake, how about Basra for trade? Well, my main trade port is in Hormoz, so. The advantage there is uh, lost somewhat. Okay, as I thought, he's going to try and snake around. For me, that's agreeable. Like I said, fighting in hills, not so bad. In fact, Shirvan works to that as well, because it's not Horde land. Ah, 10 to 1 though. Always. Always get those 10 to 1s. Oh, except when it's not <laughs> not going to happen. Hmm. Still, he's... Whatever, let's just kill him. Raise his farms and burn his barns. Jake, do you plan to integrate your vassals and in what order? It will take some time. Well, we're currently an uh, annexing Persia. They'll be done shortly. I still plan to feed Nepal and Vijayanagar quite a lot. Okay, you guys took quite a bit of a beating. Perhaps these are larger stacks than are necessary, but that'll do for now. Yeah, good thing I've been keeping an eye on all these guys. Jake, I would suggest you go north to Europe. You can easily destroy Crimea. I don't want to do what's easy. I want to kill the Ottoman. It's simple. We kill the Ottoman. Get piety. We don't need morale where we're going. Although we probably need a few more men. They're in desert, so they'll take slightly less losses. But the morale isn't too hot. Pretty much just relying on the fire uh, damage from my cannons here, because otherwise I am getting thoroughly schlacked here. Oh, just made up a word there. Hmm. These guys could get in my way. Let's support their endeavors. Armenians. We're all friends here. Oh, jeez, there's, there's a few of them. But this should make our enemy really keen for peace. Just need a bit more war score.
And we're not getting it from the battles. And there is no way I'm taking a straight crossing penalty. Let's get right out of that idea. <coughs> Now we're getting our own rebel problems, but it's Corzani's. Ugh, up in our buns as well. Hmm? No, we're not. Madness is this. Cursed ping pong. I'm not overly confident we're going to defeat these guys. Hmm. Religious uh, Sunni Zealots, that's fine. What I do is I say, you know what, you guys have a good point. I accept your demands. Even better, missionary strength versus heretics is something I could really use right about now. Where's his capital, anyway? Oh, we already have it. Well, he is uh, hes going to want to peace out with us real soon. I do think we'll take Bajra and probably this province as well, just to give it to Persia. So that we can link everything up. We'll take Bajra, convert it, and give it to... Um, Iraq is what I want to say, but really I should keep a border here so that I can holy war you. Holy war is the best. In fact, if I have a province down here, it opens up my ability to fight Hejaz. No, that wouldn't work. It wouldn't be holy. Alternatively, I could take one a bit more northern. Hmm... This province would... No. See, I'd be giving this land to Iraq. So I wouldn't maintain my border with them. Well, any province would do, so I guess we'll just go for Zanjan. No, what am I even thinking? I'll get my holy war border with them when I integrate uh, Persia. Gee, overthinking things. Jack Napier says, I'd argue humanism is the best first idea. Humanism is great, but the problem is it doesn't really unlock anything for you. As I thought, Malabar defeated me. It's alright, it's only mercenaries. They only cost money, and we have that in abundance. Right, surely they're not going to run back down to Qatar. Oh, they're running back down to Qatar. Well, that can be arranged. This is all fun and all, but I need that province back. Oh, here I go again with my straight crossing penalties. Never trust the AI. Jake, don't mercs reinforce from your own manpower? No, that's the whole point of mercenaries. They reinforce without draining your manpower, which I'm trying to keep at a recognisable level. You know, recognisably low, perhaps, you may jest, but... As long as my mercs are on the front line sponging the damage whilst the cannons fire on the enemy, I'm fine. Mercs only cost money to reinforce, never forget that. Could save your life. 
Alright, you know, I'm sick of you running to Qatar. I'm going to throw a hundred of you guys over to Qatar. The rest of you get up there and chase them down wherever they go. Take Basra and I'm good. We even got the Ganja. Just goes from good to better. Which means I think our regular foot troops can make a swift exit. There's no point in letting real men die here. Yeah, they're running for Baghdad, which I think is fairly high base tax. Seven, is it not? He knows his stuff. There is no escape, Ack. Alright, so our noble families want aid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recall my merchants from these two places. Bearing in mind that they want 417 ducats right now. I'm getting insufficient support here, but it doesn't matter because the only people feeling those casualties are our uh, mercs, who are almost completely dead. But that's okay, you don't need to pay the dead. Our cannons did fill the front lines there for a moment, though. But let's see if we can't finally finish these guys off. And now they want far fewer ducats, because we're making less money, thanks to our recalled... Um, our recalled merchants. She has sailors for uh, Persia yet again. Alright, goodbye. Let's just take Badra and call it a day. I do want to call it a day soon because I want these Shia zealots dead. Actually, it doesn't really make any odds those provinces aren't being converted. Although I'm not sure if they give local autonomy or not. Jake, Rebels and Vigiana got you right. I forgot about them, didn't I? Some of you deal with them, and the rest of you deal with them. Let's not have a... Whoa! Crivens! we got our hands full here. Well, I still want Bajra. I'm not giving that up. We'll deal with Bajra, and then we'll deal with these rebs. Deal with... Jeez, who do you even deal with first? You've made all your cores except for that one. And you're not really working on it too hard. <coughs> Jeez, poor Nepal. I almost feel for them. Hmm. Well, when in doubt... Hit that Merc button. It's a shame I don't have any cannons in those units, but I'm not about to spend money on that. Come now, Bashra, time to go. since we're spare a uh, general here. It's not like he's any good at sieging, so he may as well help out with these battles. South Kankara? South Kankara? Yeah, that's the way to go. Let's avoid a river crossing penalty. Jake, does Persia's auto Autonomy actually matter. You'll be annexing them. It'll become 75. Indeed it will. So yeah, autonomy doesn't matter. Did I say it would matter from those rebels? If I did, then I don't know what I was thinking. Come 
I'm not bad, right? It's time to go. Right, so 2000 and 2000. One, two, one, two. Let's not have anything defecting on my watch. See, I am a great and benevolent overlord, and finally Bashra is down. Probably going to be a bit... No, this will be fine. Is there anything else I said I wanted to give? It's pretty much the ideal time to give more land to Persia if I want more in the way of... Uh, borders. I think that should go to Natch. Oh, but I can't give it I can't give just its capital. Oh well. Anyway, two to Natch there, that's fine, that'll connect up all of his land. That for myself, I'll convert it and release Iraq. These are all Persian cores, and I'll go back, I'll give them that to join it up. I don't think I can really demand much more. 30 ducats. Barely worth the paper I write that demand on. But we'll take it anyway. Kick him while he's down. Sounds good to me. Jake, do you plan on single tagging Germany? I haven't thought that far ahead. We'll see what uh, transpires when I hit the HRE. Right, I no longer care so much about your rebels, so forget supporting those. What I now need to do is support my vassal. Oh, I also need to convert Bajra as quickly as possible. So if you missed the double missionary trick before, now is your time to pay attention. What you need to do is you want to hold down return, go over to your religion screen, and mash the send button. It takes a few tries to actually get it to work, because it can be a bit fernickety. But if you time it right, you'll get both the missionaries on the one province, and they'll convert it twice as fast. So it says it'll be done in 21 months. Truthfully, it'll be done before 1593, if all goes to plan. And all will go to plan. Right, our men are a little broken here, so let's let them reinforce ever so slightly before they run face first into those Shia Rebs. Also, I got no way home for you guys. Where's our boats? Of course. Safety in numbers, lads. And we're slightly above a quarter of our manpower, so we're no longer going to feel the ill effects of the peasant war ticker. Jake, you should raise autonomy in Bajra. There's literally no downside to it. Mm, what I'm hearing you say is you should lower the autonomy in Bajra, Jake. No, it's fine the way it is. This is a new one. A religious dilemma has cropped up with Andy and... Jeez, me and my reading. Hold on, let me... Let me just pass it off with a cough for a wheeze. <laughs> so well. I can read, I swear. A religious dilemma has cropped up and the advisors at courts are baffled. The only true advice any of them uttered was Mian Mir, the Sufi saint in Lahore, could possibly help. What? You want me to offer this theologian a place in my court? Granted, my old theologian is getting on a bit, and I do like that, uh... Ooh. We're gonna have to find another solution. Both of those... Both of those ways wanted me to spend my money, and, uh... That doesn't float my boat. After you release Iraq, it'll be gone anyway. Yeah, but Iraq will get that higher autonomy. Ah, but it'll be Iraq's capital. ka -ching. Okay, we're going full damage control here in Nepal. Nepal are still at Tech 11, so we should, should ravage these rebels without even blinking. Oh, 
amazingly, that province there has managed to hold out. So he's still going to be coring it. If we can just get either a supply shortage or a status quo on it, they'll hold out long enough for us to go and deal with them. As for you folks, let's take care of the Shias. Persia should be coring that one province, no problem. And they shall be inside us very soon. <coughs> Jake, does the missionary trick also give you double increased revolt risk? No. No, it does not. We can show that here. You still just get the minus six, or rather plus six for active missionary. But you will get double the um, papal influence if you are doing it as a Catholic. More slaves in Africa? What did you expect? And good, we saved the core. Let's save even more things. in a position to go fighting any more of these. Our treasury's taken quite the hit from all this, but that's okay. Our treasury can bounce back, no problem. Let's revoke our costly embargo and consider who our new rivals are going to be. Uh, well, might as well embrace the Spain and France. You know, uh, um, making France vassals is, uh, <coughs> making France a rival doesn't seem like the brightest thing to do right about now. Persia can take that back. We shall get rid of our mercenaries. Yeah, just altogether get rid of them. There's no use. Everyone else get back to Hormoz. And we'll figure out our plan of attack. Our plan of attack should be remembering whose truce runs out next. Because bear in mind, as soon as those truces run out, they're going to be joining that coalition with us again. But actually, everything looks pretty good. Sadly, Afghanistan would join in. They wouldn't be a co-belligerent, so their provinces would be... Uh, twice as expensive. Well, Oman is the next logical uh, attack. Once everyone's back in Hormoz, we'll drop in unannounced and we'll be taking that. I want that so I can have full control or close to full control over Hormoz. Which will almost make it worthwhile to forward my trade there. But I don't know, I'm very sceptical about forwarding trade when I <coughs> just don't have enough control over it. See, so one issue is this. So much trade gets sucked out by the various uh, evildoers in the Gulf of Aden. And we only have one, well, two provinces that we can really build on. Well, let's make hay. Jake, what is your war exhaustion at? Ah, I'm sure it's insignificant. 1.4. We paid it down during the Afghan war because I can't fight in Afghanistan to save my life. Jake, build up Hormoz for trade. We did actually, uh, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Hormoz have both. And Muscat, yeah, they've also got uh, both. Our dip tech is pretty low, though. We're pretty rubbish at that. Now, I drove in here because I'm impatient. I don't actually think my troops are going to fight very well here because they are so low in number. i got to do everything to save my vassal. Even rely on him for better general and troops. Jake, why don't you let Catholic free stab? Just haven't a fan of playing as Catholic nations. Maybe someday, I mean, granted, I haven't given them enough of a chance. 
So do I keep these mercs around or do I get rid of them? Our manpower is returning. Nah, I want to save some ducats for a change. We must all go. And all is well. Perhaps I should just clean Bachmanis off the map. It's a shame that they're still giving their uh, trade power to Norway, because that's something they can be useful for. Maybe I shouldn't be relying on that trick so much. <coughs> okay, so you might have noticed the pop-up came up twice, and like I said, it happened before 1594. Uh, are there any claims I want to throw down whilst I'm here? Not really, this land will all be going to uh, Iraq anyway. Not this one. Do I want it though? I don't think I do. I've already got this land as an opening here. Let's just spit out a rack. We're at 4 out of 5 so we can afford the new subject. Ta da! That autonomy will probably go down to zero. when the, uh, the, t the month tick goes by. See, I just cannot get behind using the automated fleet transport. I don't know if you're going to be intercepted, because you're not keeping an eye on it, and they march onto the sea and then off onto the province. That takes about a month, whereas you can do it just like that. Alright, Muscat, it is time to go. You are mine. I don't think I need peace for anything. Fort level 2, let's just unload the cannons and be on our way. Jake, if rebels free a nation from your vassal, the truce is only f with Nepal. Interesting. This is troublesome though. I hear that if rebels enforce demands on another country, um, they can take land from the other nation. So I think if these guys enforced their demands on Orissa, they would actually spit out Gujarat from Nepal. And that's awful, because Gujarat... Hmm? Sorry, Garjat have increased coring cost, which is enough of pain in itself. It's going to make Nepal quite expensive to integrate. But Nepal is the Prussia of India. They're going to make a good attack dog for a while yet. I almost feel like I should get you so I can quickly annex Persia now. No need to wait around. <laughs> Hell yeah, you only cost money. I just wish they would tech up a bit. They've done fairly good on their uh, religious conversions, though. I'll give them that. That's what they get for having religious ideas. And since they had so many rebel pop-ups there, they... Oh, dear goodness. Good thing I dismissed all my uh, rebel-stomping mercenaries, right? Internal conflict. Has anyone had that? Do they know what it actually does? Well, tech up while it's cheaper. I'll be fighting the Ottomans soon, I think. There's just no uh, no other choice. 